Hello guys, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can analyze, visualize and probably automate the entire data cleaning and data pre-processing stage of the financial data with the help of Mito. Now, if you don't know about Mito, guys, it's an amazing tool which will actually help you to perform amazing EDA in a quicker and a faster way. It will also help you to automate the entire data cleaning, data pre-processing steps. So yes, Jake from Mito team has recorded this specific video. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. And again, if you really want to try Mito, all the links will be given in the description of this particular video. So let's go ahead. Hey, this is Jake from Mito. I'm going to show you how you can make some really amazing graphs in the Mito sheet that generate Python code and you don't have to do any coding yourself. All you do is make the chart and it generates the code for you. For those who don't know, the Mito sheet is a spreadsheet interface for Python. We can do lots of things like pivoting, graphing, formulas, filtering, sorting, um, summary statistics, all in the Mito sheet and generate the equivalent code as we do it. So first I'm gonna do this and just call the Mito sheet. We get this blank Mito interface. Let me import some data first. So I'm gonna import some Tesla stock data click import this was a csv when i click the import button we see that csv turns into a data frame in the mito sheet and we generate the equivalent code for importing that data frame importing that csv and turning it into a data frame before we go on let me just show you how to install mito this is our documentation you just run these two commands uh, this command installs the mito installer and this command runs the install command within the mito installer and then when you open up jupyter lab all you have to do is run import MITO sheet and then MITO sheet sheet and you're good to go and you'll call a MITO interface. So as I said before, we can import data either by calling in a CSV or Excel file, or we can pass in a data frame directly as an argument to the MITO sheet sheet call. Now we have some data in the tool. There's lots we can do that you know I've shown I've shown in some other videos. We can add and delete columns. We can make pivot tables. We can merge. For example, here's an example, if I click the merge, actually we need multiple data frames, but there's a ton we can do in the tool. But what I wanna do right now is I wanna start graphing this. So I'm gonna click the graph button. And as my X axis, I'm gonna put the date. And as my Y axis, I'm just gonna put the open value of these stocks. So we see here, we get a nice chart. And already what I can do is I could copy this graph code. Let me just run this here. And I could paste it here and we would get the equivalent chart right here. So again, everything we do in the graph here is gonna generate the equivalent Python that we can use farther down in the notebook. Um, other things we can have in the graph, so we have this chart type of bar chart. We could also change this to a line chart if we wanted. We would see that. We could make a histogram, a density heat map, a box plot, violin strip, or ECDF chart. Um, and all of these charts are interactive as well, so I can zoom in and out on them here. You can see we can do this down here as well um, we can also style these charts so i'm going to give it a new title i'm just going to call it graph exclamation point we do that we see the updates there um, let's let's put some coloring or we could just we could just put some new titles and you know i'll rename these axes as um let's so. call this uh, x-axis like that, we'll call this y-axis. We'll do that. Um, what else do we do? We can turn off and on the legends. There we go. We see the updates in the chart. And we can customize the colors of the chart as well. Um, and now what I can do with this new graph that I've made the edits is copy this code again. And we see this code here made a bar chart, but if I run this here, we'll get that line chart there. So these charts that we make inside the tool can be used outside the tool as well. Um, beyond graphing, oh, we can also download these as PNGs if you wanna use these graphs in presentation, or whatever it is. Uh, but again, you know, lots of different graph types we can do here, as we said before, line charts, bar charts, scatter plots. Um, we can make density heat maps, all these different kinds of things. We can get some really nice colors going in the charts as well. And again, all of these charts that we make, we can generate the code for them by clicking the copy graph code. Now, other features in the tool, such as a pivot table, for example. So let's say, let me just add a column here. And I want to pull out the month using the month function here for these data sets. We we'll do that. Now we've pulled out the month. Let's say we want to make a pivot table of the average open price for each month. So I'm going to create pivot table here. 
we will do that new column, which was the month, and then we're going to do the open price, and I'm going to make this the average. So we have that. I'm going to change this float. So if I click on this column menu here, I can add a filter to the columns. I can see the unique values in the columns. I can get some summary stats for the column as well. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this float to an integer. There we go. And let's use our formatting here to make this two decimal places. There we go. So we have a nice pivot table here. And you'll notice with the things I did here, I added the column. I put a formula in that column. So I added the column here. I put a formula in it. And then I made a pivot table off of it. All of that stuff gets generated here, all the equivalent code for those steps. So here's adding the column here. Here's the, uh, the formula we put in the column. And here is the pivot table. And you can see with the pivot table, this is an example of like, there's a good chunk of code here that might take some a good amount of time to write. Otherwise, you might have to go to Google or Stack Overflow. But in Mito, everything you do is just generate, the code generates for you. So do your step in the tool here, whether it's graphing, merging, concatenating things together, deduplicating your data, um, and all that's going to be recorded in the code cell here. So you can actually generate code as you edit the sheet. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, this demo. I really wanted to show you um, you know, a lot of the graphing com uh, capabilities we have in the tool. And, um, you yeah, know, I'll just show you a histogram. And, uh, yeah, I, I hope you check out Mito. And, again, here are the install commands. Check it out on our documentation, which we'll link below. Thanks so much.